Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Allie. I'm a mom who loves DIY, simple living, and making a house into a home on a budget. In the last video, we talked about how to find free art on the public domain, how to print it, where to find frames, all the details to get you started. Today's video, we're talking about what to do once you have the pictures printed, how to frame them, how to make them look more authentic, and how to style them. So with that said, let's jump into it. So first, I took this matte Mod Podge and make sure it's matte, at least that's my preference. And I basically went over each painting kind of thick um, and kind of tried to follow what might have been their brush pattern. Um, this really made it just kind of look more realistic, more like a painting. Um, it's hard to tell until it dries, but you'll see in a minute here that it really does add a lot. And it just looks way more realistic. It gives it a little bit of texture. So if you're looking for more of a painting look, I would definitely recommend this. I did it again with this painting, and again, I just tried to follow kind of the brush pattern um, so that it looked like it um, was supposed to be on the painting. Um, and this stuff dries clear, so um, it just adds kind of that texture and um, just kind of like a real oil painting look. So another method that I used to make this just look more like a real painting, um, it is a real painting, but uh, it's obviously a print. So to make it look like more of an authentic oil painting, I went ahead and removed the glass and I put down the matting first, followed by the picture, and I just used some washi tape to hold it in place. That way it doesn't damage the picture when I go to remove it. Um, but I just took some washi tape and secured it into place so that it was where I wanted it and it won't move. Um, I feel like there's nothing worse than like putting a frame all together and then flipping it around and it's all shifted. So to, in order to not lose the glass and not have it get broken, um, I went ahead and put it on the back of the picture and then I put the backing on the frame. I thought that was a good method in order to not lose the glass and not have it broken, but also not have to use it in the frame. And so it just gives more of a um, finished oil painting look. If you haven't yet subscribed, I would love it if you would subscribe. I post a new video every week, every Friday morning along the lines of DIY, simple living, and making a house into a home on a budget. I hope this video inspired you to go to the public domain, download art, get it printed, frame it, and style it. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you guys next time.